All right, so thanks for tuning back in. Beautiful day today. Uh, I'm outside enjoying the weather. It's actually starting to feel like October. Leaves are falling. Uh, bamboos in the background. It's starting to get a little brown leaves on it. The topic of this video today is uh, shop lights. And can you make your own shop light? Well, I'm moving out today. I'm moving out of the basement and I'm moving into this. I have a new shop. I can't get it all in frame. Uh, the sun's probably impeded. I don't know what that's doing to the camera. Let's get over here. I have a new 40 by 60 shop. Let's go inside. All right, so I can't show everything and, and I can't give a real good perspective at one time uh, with with the camera being just, just the way it is. I don't know. I, I guess I could use some kind of fisheye or something, maybe get a wider angle, but a telephoto. I don't know. But uh, two 10 by 10 roll ups. Uh, they're not roll ups, what are they called? Overheads. They go on the tracks right there. I don't have the garage door openers installed yet. That's coming next. Right now it's not insulated. I'm gonna do that myself. I'm gonna put a ceiling in it. Uh, it's a 40 by 60 feet. And uh, there's my table saw and my bandsaw. They kind of make it kind of look small over there in the corner. I have an exit door over there in case I get crazy and build up a fire or something. I need to get out quick. But uh, of course I had to have a beer fridge. This is just the old fridge we took out of the house. But man, I'm super excited. But the, the actual purpose of this video today was can you build your own shop light? And there are so many shop lights, so many variations. You can buy T5s. Right now, I think they're the brightest fluorescents you can buy, T5. Uh, in comparison, this, and, and, and cameras don't do well in regards to showing you what actually the light output is from any light because when you when you shine the camera on it, it kind of looks kind of weird but that is a thousand lumen hyper tough work light from walmart i just zipped at it to the freaking ceiling joys this is my work light that is um it's putting out 90 no that's not right it's putting out 900 lumens per meter and it's about five meters. Uh, I don't know, whatever the math is on that, 4,500. But that's what that is. And I'll we're gonna get into that a little bit more. But I just kinda wanna show you around a little bit. 12 foot sidewalls, stick frame. Doing all the wiring myself. Let's go up here and look at this light. For SMD 5630s. That's 5.6 millimeters by 3.6 zero millimeters. They're rectangular in shape. And they run on 12 volt. Each run of four feet pulls around 1.47 amps. And I know that with that uh, variable voltage power spot that I have. On top, I have two MyLite, um, just controllers, LED controllers. I just have them plugged in to this 10, amp which isn't 10 amp i'll get into that in a second 10 amp 12 volt power supply and keeping an eye on everything it's been on for a while i even have a drill bit up here look at this i can probably take that and put that somewhere else but uh this has been on for a while i'm just kind of just keeping an eye on temperature and they you know they're, they're going to produce a little bit of heat they do not run totally cool. And this little connection right here, it was getting warm. It, it is, it's warm now because what I'm pushing this to the limit, this 10 amp power supply is really, I mean, it, it needs seven or less. It's, it's so cheap. Uh, I had two of them and then one wouldn't even function for this array. This array pulls uh, 8.7 amps, give or take. So uh, I don't have the controller yet for these. I just uh, have one for inside for the LED array that I built over this stove, but I ordered a new one for just for the shop. So yeah, as I'm up here, I can feel heat coming off the, off the entire array. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna heat the shop maybe, I don't know. But after coming up and checking the temperature, this is actually too hot. 
and to be this uh, physically warm to the touch, it's a little concerning. So what I need to do is cut the, there's six of these strips. What I need to do is just divide them in half and run the power supply on half and then another power supply on the other half. I didn't want to do that because I wanted to save my outlet right there for something else, but that's not gonna be a possibility with this LED array. It's just pulling too many amps for this cheap ass power supply. It's about to overheat and catch fire, I don't know. But anyway, so the next time you see this light, if I make a video of it, it I'll be pulling, um, let's see, I'm pulling about four amps through each 10 amp power supply and maybe they'll cool down and work like they're supposed to. I'm not so sure. But in terms of brightness, when I flip the switch on, you're going to see the 1000 lumen HyperTuff light come on first, and then you'll see my LED light come on second. And you can tell there is a huge difference. I figured this is probably somewhere around, like they said, like the math uh, says from the website, around 4,500 to 5,000 lumens. But with a 10 amp power supply on SMD 5630s, one of those uh, cheap power supplies is not adequate. It's getting too hot.